extent that you are humble hearted, you will be able to carry out renewal. Those who are humble will not have any bossiness in them, but will have spirituality. See how the father comes with such humility in the same way. Follow the father. Now we will listen to Mohini Didi. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. So every day we are listening very beautiful points on sweetness, humility. So to give happiness to others is good, but you have to stay happy yourself too. So what to do to stay happy within? Like sometimes we call it super sensuous joy, long time, unlimited happiness. So that is also connected to humility. So naturally, if we are humble, sweet, what happens? So I have also seen like when we are close to Baba and we look at Baba, so in the heart, we feel so good, so nice. Not only uh, we feel good, nice, but also we feel sweet within. So what happens when we have that sweetness within, so then our drishti, our words, everything, whatever we are exchanging with others will be filled with sweetness. But for that, we have we should experience that, experience the sweetness, and that also includes contentment. So what happens sometimes, for instance, if you have a fruit or something, if that is sour or bitter, then what would what will you find? You will find some sweet, sweet, <laughs> some sweet. I should eat something sweet. So how Baba in uh, yesterday was saying, like, if you if anyone tells you anything. So what happens? Sometimes people speak sweetly, but the vibrations inside are not that clean, that clear. So we should not feel that. We should not flee, feel that uh, a sorrow of the other soul. We should not say like, why they think like that? No, don't think like that. Why for others? Because that's their sanskar. But what should be my sanskar? So what others are thinking, that should not influence my mind. So what happens with that? Sometimes we react. But if my stage, if I am stabilized in my stage, my own elevated stage, if I'm stabilized in that stage, then to the extent I'm stabilized, I will feel that sweetness, that calmness. And naturally we will give respect to others with humility. And what happens when we give respect to others? We will receive the respect. Sometimes what happens, some people, if they are talking so loud to you, but you should not lose your sweetness. And our effort should be at that time with that sweetness, with that humility, like Baba was saying, just give happiness to others. So nowadays in every Murli, Baba is sharing about the power of yoga. Today also Baba said like with power of yoga, just um, settle your accounts of whatever debt is there because there is a lot of debt on the, on the soul there is there are accounts so if we settle it in this way any account any account maybe 
it's of wealth maybe through health but baba said just settle every account through power of yoga so today i was thinking about that a lot i was reflecting on that what to do how to accumulate that power of yoga this is baba's yagya so we have to also come in action we cannot just sit and do yoga so until when we are in this body we have to perform actions but while performing actions just stabilize in man manabhav that stage so for that we are practicing every day how should be our mind's state so today as we were uh, practicing on unlimited disinterest for for instance if like for anything we don't create many thoughts now neither we have that interest to create those thoughts whatever we have to do we are just doing it we don't want to get involved a lot in things so baba so when we are stabilized in this stage of man manabhav so what happens are uh, we start receiving success through thoughts we don't say oh whether it will happen or not whether we will be able to do it or not is it possible or not so baba says just create the thought in baba's remembrance then that will happen so that is the blessing from baba to you that you you should receive eternal success because your method is correct so your success is determined so if you have that determined thought not a weak thought just determined thought if your thought is weak or there is any doubt within so then you'll not be able to get that success so the correct method is to have that determined thought have a elevated thought and the thought in baba's remembrance then you will receive that eternal success success but within you if the thought is weak there is doubt that will become reason not to get success so to be successful so the more we are in stabilized in the stage of just man mana bhav so if our stage is like that so the more we are in that stage the more to that extent we will experience the happiness the success but that awareness should be there that method is correct and i'll receive success so with awareness you will receive that power so both the thoughts success in your life is connected with your stage of man manabhav so your stage of man manabhav will lead you to the success so every thought every thought should be like i will be successful if your thought is strong your thought is powerful that will happen that will happen but keep this uh, awareness of this blessing that baba had given me this blessing what i have to do i just have to remember baba so um, one time baba was asking is it difficult to remember baba it should be like it's difficult to forget baba not to remember baba is difficult so we should pay attention on this if we will pay attention then we will experience good we will have good experience and our stage will be stable unshakable constant okay om shanti om shanti man manabhav eternal success now bring into experience this powerful mantra you must not allow there to be a difference between your face and the stage of your mind this method of man manabhav brings eternal success in your thoughts and actions 
the complete father and the complete stage both are calling you children come powerful children become complete become equal and rest in your home Om Shanti.